Paulo Coelho de Souza, Portuguese, Paulo Cuyu, born August 24, 1947, is a Brazilian lyricist and novelist, best known for his novel The Alchemist. In 2014, he uploaded his personal papers online to create a virtual Paulo Coelho Foundation. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Coelho was born in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and attended a Jesuit school. As a teenager, Coelho wanted to become a writer. Upon telling his mother this, she responded, "'My dear, your father is an engineer. He's a logical, reasonable man with a very clear vision of the world. Do you actually know what it means to be a writer?' At 17, Coelho's introversion and opposition to following a traditional path led to his parents committing him to a mental institution from which he escaped three times before being released at the age of 20. Born into a Catholic family, his parents were strict about the religion and faith. Coelho later remarked that, "...it wasn't that they wanted to hurt me, but they didn't know what to do." They did not do that to destroy me, they did that to save me." At his parents' wishes, Coelho enrolled in law school and abandoned his dream of becoming a writer. One year later, he dropped out and lived life as a hippie, traveling through South America, North Africa, Mexico, and Europe and started using drugs in the 1960s. Upon his return to Brazil, Coelho worked as a songwriter, composing lyrics for Ellis Regina, Rita Lee, and Brazilian icon Raul Seekers. Composing with Raul led to Coelho being associated with magic and occultism, due to the content of some songs. In 1974, Coelho was arrested for «subversive» activities by the ruling military government, who had taken power ten years earlier and viewed his lyrics as left-wing and dangerous. Coelho also worked as an actor, journalist, and theatre director before pursuing his writing career. On March 29, 2019, Coelho published on the Washington Post and in his personal blog a narrative from when he was arrested by the military dictatorship in Brazil in April 29, 1974, and then post under torture. In response to the Jair Bolsonaro plan to commemorate the 55 years of 1964 Brazilian coup d'etat, Coelho married artist. Cristina Oitisica in 1980. Together they had previously spent half the year in Rio de Janeiro and the other half in a country house in the Pyrenees Mountains of France, but now the pair reside permanently in Geneva, Switzerland. In 1986, Coelho walked the 500 plus mile road of Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain. On the path, he had a spiritual awakening, which he described autobiographically in the pilgrimage. In an interview, Coelho stated, "...in 1986, I was very happy in the things I was doing. I was doing something that gave me food and water, to use the metaphor in The Alchemist, I was working, I had a person whom I loved, I had money, but I was not fulfilling my dream. My dream was, and still is, to be a writer." Coelho would leave his lucrative career as a songwriter and pursue writing full-time. The Pilgrim, Story of Paolo Coelho is the international title for the biographical film Now Pair en a Pista, a co-production between Brazil's Dharma films and the Spanish Babel films, in which the younger and older Coelho is played by two different actors. One of the producers, Iona de Macedo, told Screen International. The film tells the story of a man who has a dream. It's a little like Alice in Wonderland, he's someone who is too big for his house." The film, shot in Portuguese, had its premiere in Brazilian theaters on 2014, and was internationally distributed in 2015. Career <laughs> <laughs> Writing In 1982, Coelho published his first book, Hell Archives, which failed to make a substantial impact. 
In 1986 he contributed to the Practical Manual of Vampirism, although he later tried to take it off the shelves since he considered it a bad quality. After making the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela in 1986, Coelho wrote The Pilgrimage, published in 1987. The following year, Coelho wrote The Alchemist and published it through a small Brazilian publishing house that made an initial print run of 900 copies and decided not to reprint it. He subsequently found a bigger publishing house, and with the publication of his next book Brita, The Alchemist took off. HarperCollins decided to publish the book in 1994. Later it became an international bestseller. While trying to overcome his procrastination about launching his writing career, Coelho said, If I see a white feather today, that is a sign that God is giving me that I have to write a new book. Coelho found a white feather in the window of a shop, and began writing that day. Since the publication of The Alchemist, Coelho has generally written at least one novel every two years. Four of them, The Pilgrimage, Hippie, The Valkyries and Aleph, are autobiographical, while the majority of the rest are broadly fictional. Other books, like Maktub, The Manual of the Warrior of Light and Like the Flowing River, are collections of essays, newspaper columns, or selected teachings. His work has been published in more than 170 countries and translated into 80 languages. Together, his books have sold in the hundreds of millions. On the 22nd of December 2016, Coelho was listed by UK-based company Richtopia at number two in the list of 200 most influential contemporary authors. However, reactions to his writing have not been without controversy. Though he was raised in a Catholic family, and describes himself as of that faith even now, his stance has been described as incompatible with the Catholic faith, because of its New Age, pantheist and relativist contents. And whatever his sales, reviews of Coelho's later work consistently note its superficiality. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Topic. Others On May 1, 2018 it was announced the Coelho signed for a TV series based on the characters of his novels The Devil and Miss Prim, Britta and the Witch of Portobello. <laughs> <laughs>